After the most unbelievable day when Christian and Brendan had drank the magical lemonade and became giants who ran all over town and attracted the attention of the entire nation, things had all but settled back down after their grandma figured out how to use the right magic trick to fix them. The two boys were tired and about to fall asleep when both of them looked out and saw there was still a huge tree growing in front of their house. And it was so high up by now, they couldn't even see the top of it. And all of this had started when just a few drops of the magical lemonade had spilled onto the ground. And the two boys felt drawn back to the massive tree as they were even more surprised to find branches that stuck out almost like a stepladder. So it was easy for them to climb up it. And so one after the other, they climbed branch after branch. And every time they stopped to look down at how far they had come, they could see more of the world around them as they ascended higher and higher. First, they could see their whole neighborhood. And then they could see the entire town where they lived. And then they could see the entire city and even some of the neighboring cities off in the distance. They couldn't believe how high they were climbing. And it was starting to get windy up there. But when they looked up, they still couldn't even see the top. It was like this tree just kept going up forever. And midway through their climb to the top, they could see there was a sudden and fierce storm starting to approach. Lightning was crackling in the distance, and powerful gusts of wind blew through the branches of the tree as it started shaking the tree, and they could feel it swaying back and forth. The boys hung on tightly, but this storm was not going to let up. It was getting stronger and even fiercer than it was before, and then the rain started coming down. This tree was swaying all over the place now as it was bending in every direction. Brendan suddenly lost his grip and he fell, but then Christian quickly caught him. Hold on, Brendan! Christian yelled through the howling wind, but both Christian and Brendan's hands were slowly starting to slip. They were just holding on by a few fingers now, and then just two fingers. And then just their pinky fingers. I can't hold on any longer. Brendan screamed, but then suddenly they heard a loud crack that echoed through the sky above and through the town below as they felt the whole tree slowly starting to tip over. Christian grabbed hold of Brendan's arm and pulled him back up as they both scrambled desperately to grab one of the upper branches. And when they found a good secure branch, they noticed it just happened to have this big cluster of bright, glowing yellow lemons on it. The same kind of magical lemons that started it all. And as the tree continued falling all the way down to the ground, the two boys screamed until all of a sudden, Brendan remembered the magical orange from his knapsack. They didn't know anything about it, but maybe it would help them. So Brendan grabbed that orange and held on tight. And then suddenly they felt a magical force surrounding both of them as it slowed their falling to a gentle float and guided them smoothly to the ground while they could hear the rest of the giant tree crash into the ground throughout the city below. And once Christian and Brendan had floated safely to the ground, they looked up and they both saw that same cluster of the magical glowing lemons. They walked up to where the lemons were and each of them plucked one from the fallen tree. And as each of them held their lemon, they could see it glowing warmly in their hands with more untapped powers than either of them could imagine. They could both hear the sounds of police sirens approaching from far off in the distance and they knew it wouldn't be long until they were found. And of course, they wanted to be found so they could get home to their parents but they also knew how dangerous it could be if these powerful lemons fell into the wrong hands. And as the sirens grew louder, they both put their lemons in their pockets and ran up to the road nearby. And as the police arrived, two of them stepped out of the cruiser and one of them said, Well, wow, wee, wasn't that something? Hey, wait, were you kids in 
that tree as it fell? How on earth did you survive that fall? We all saw what happened. No one could have survived that. Both the boys knew it was the magical orange that had saved them, so they said, Uh, yeah, I don't know, but here we are. Everything seems to be fine. We're all set. Good to go. A-OK. Huh. Okay, well, uh, let's get you kids home. You ever taken a ride in a police car before? So both kids ran and jumped in the back of the police car, and when they finally got home, their parents had been worried sick. As if it wasn't scary enough to have both of their kids turned into giants earlier that day, and now their kids climbed all the way into the sky on a giant tree before it toppled over and almost squished them. And then... Christian and Brendan told their parents about the magical lemons they found that caused the tree to grow so tall in the first place, and then their mother's magical orange that saved them from the fall. Ah, this is all starting to make sense now, their mom said. I had a feeling my special lemon and orange were somehow involved with this. And look, Mom, Christian said, we both picked one of these glowing lemons from the giant tree when it fell over. Oh, I see, their mom said. Well, now that you both know how powerful these lemons are, I don't have to warn you to be careful now, do I? And both boys shook their heads. Good. Why don't you both find a good hiding spot for these two unspeakably dangerous and destructive lemons? Sound good? And both boys shook their heads again as they were both keenly aware of the powers contained within these lemons. They each chose a location that only they knew about, right on the top, back corner of the shelf in the cupboard in their kitchen, where nobody would ever see or reach far enough to find them. And with the lemons safely stored, they made a pact to keep their secret, knowing that the powers within these lemons were meant for a time when both boys were old enough to handle them responsibly. In many years past, and the legend of the two giant boys in the humongous tree became a local myth, but the lemons remained untouched. The boys had grown into men, and their childhood adventure was a vivid memory that bound them together. And one day, they were visiting their parents' house with their own young families and children. And Christian and Brendan suddenly remembered the two lemons they had hid in the cupboard in their kitchen. And Brendan ran to check if they were still there. And sure enough, both the lemons sat right where they had left them those many years ago. And he pulled them both out and held one in each hand as his oldest child ran up to him and saw what he had found. And they asked, Hey, Daddy, should we have a lemonade stand? And Brendan looked back with a smile on his face and said, I don't know, honey. Are you ready for an adventure? Do you ever find yourself wondering when the next episode is going to come out for the Storyland podcast? I know they don't come out as much as we all want them to, but if you want to be the first to know about when the next story is going to drop, all you got to do is follow us on Instagram or Facebook, or just go to storyland.show, and you'll find links to all the different places online where you can listen and watch, and even leave a comment and make suggestions about other story ideas that you might have. Just go to storyland.show. Or again, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Just search for Storyland, all one word, podcast. Storyland podcast, and you should be able to find us there. Thanks again for listening, and I'll talk to you next time.